nice if I had a uh, had someone in here to do it mm -hmm. for me. But okay, so we Hello. welcome back. Hi, you guys. It's me again. The lady with the talons. Yes. Take a look at the toes now. Good and care. They have. They are much much better than they were last time we saw them. Yes. And um, you're doing more walking now, yes? Yes, ma'am. I've lost 59 pounds. Wonderful. Yes, Congratulations. I am. See what good thing Dr. Beak Care does for you. Well, Remember it's more than that. Toes. Yeah, more than that. But, okay, so this one kind of goes up and around. You may have to take a couple of these toenails off, remember? Eventually. But for right now, I think we can thin them out and get them short and comfortable. So we did that video probably, what, almost two years ago now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 60 okay. pounds, that's wonderful. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, I need to lose another 60, you know. Mm -hmm. So I leave, I leave my chair. I walk three times a day now, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and you know I'm a diabetic, so mm -hmm. I always have to watch what I eat, but my goal is to get down another 60 and then get off this oxygen. Wonderful. And get rid of that chair. That scooter? Yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with being able to maintain my health and not have to worry about the situation I was in, you know. Yes. So you think that by losing weight that will allow you to get off your oxygen? Mm -hmm. Has your, do your doctors told you that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I can lose weight and then I won't be in so much knee pain, you know. Absolutely. Because I have two artificial knees. Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, the weight plays, plays a lot of part of, you know, mm -hmm. the reason why I'm you know, my knees, even after the surgery, was not successful for me because of the weight. Okay. So, and then I think that it helped with my diabetes too, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've known a number of people who've gotten off of their diabetic meds from the exercise because the exercise will help lower the blood sugar quite a bit. I'm able to do... Uh, quite more than the last six months than I've been able to do in the last ten years. Isn't it great what removing stress can do? And that's what I think a lot of it was too, the stress I was under. I believe that. Mm -hmm. My health is really, you know, it's turning for the good now. At one point I was really, really poorly health was Mentally and physically, I was in. I didn't really know how mental uh, the weight had really took a toll of my body, which caused the, my physical body to kind of start shedding down, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, absolutely. My kidney lever is back up again. Mm -hmm. Three patients back to back to back was checking in. It's a busy day today because we got both doctors here and we both have full schedules. So, yeah. I wasn't too late, was I? No, not running pretty close to on early, time. Yeah. Okay. I think I got in a couple of minutes even before my appointment. Well, my transportation, they always bring me a little late. Either I'm going to be 10 or 15 minutes <laughs> earlier or I'm going to be five minutes late. <laughs> One of the two. You know, it, it breaks my heart when I see people waiting for their ride and they're here for two hours. I have good transportation now. That Metro Mobility, I, that's when you really catch it. If I had a 2.30, they may not come be able to come and get me to 3.30 or 4.30, you know. Then I have to wait. If they have to pick up or drop off, you know, before they right. get to me. I've been on that Metro Mobility as long as... Four hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. On the bus. Mm -hmm. While On they the pick bus. up and drop off. Yes. Uh, you know, there has to be a good computer program that can organize all that, but I don't know how they do it because you're right. I've seen people who've had to wait really long. 
So this one is growing around like that. Like so. the other one over here? Yeah, I mean, you've got a few of them that are growing that way, so I'm just kind of pointing it out. But So they're still shaped like talons, but they're way shorter, so they're not nearly as bad. That's a good thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they'll pick me, say they pick me up here in Golden Valley. Mm -hmm. Now, that instead of them having it routed where whatever drop off is in Golden Valley or near, mm -hmm. they'll go all the way out to uh, Roseville. What? Yeah. I mean, I says, I don't know who the bright person is that schedules these uh, transportation, but it's like you say, I said, it's, you know, I ran out of oxygen when I had that old iron tank, you know. Mm -hmm. I ran out of oxygen on that Metro Mobility three times and they've had to drive us, had to pull over and call the paramedics. So for people watching this who don't know how far that is, it's about 30 miles away mm -hmm. and it's north of St. Paul and yeah, and we're west of Minneapolis. So that's, that's a ridiculous one. I can see an hour where they have to do some picking up and dropping off, but not four hours and not going 30 miles out of the way yes. after they pick you up. And then they may have to pick up or drop off of a person there, and then they'll leave from there and go back to Brooklyn Center, yeah. and they pass my house three times, you know. All right, so I'm just going to point one thing out on this big toe. And that is, we remove the nail, but there is just a little teeny piece of nail growing back right here. And that's just because there were a few cells that didn't get killed. And so we can just keep trimming this, or we can redo the procedure for this one little piece of nail here. But if it doesn't bother you, we just keep trimming it. So sometimes that happens when you remove a total nail, but the rest of this looks great. I remember you telling me. Yeah. So sometimes that happens and, you know, we deal with it and if it's a problem, we'll redo the procedure just right here. Um, and if it's not a problem, then we just keep trimming it when you come in. That's just a little bit of nail tissue right there. All right.
feet look great. I'm just going to move that over. So your feet look really good today. Thank you. Really, um, good. So, yeah. And they look like they belong to a different person yes. than when we first started, they, don't they? Yes, ma'am, they do. They truly do. I mean, I can wear my little sanders now and everything. I don't put polish on my toes or anything now because they were so, but now I think I'm going to have a foot, you know. Get you go get a pedicure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. Yeah, they were so tore up from the floor before I tell yeah. you was, they were really in bad shape. And bravo, madam. This is your new chapter. Yes. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is my new chapter, and I tell you, Doctor, I sure feel good. I'm not going to kid you. I'm so blessed to be able to know what it really truly is to live, you know? Yes. Because my battle was not an easy battle, but I thought God has blessed me with good doctors, I tell you. And I want them to be better, so it has worked out, you know? I pay attention to what my doctors tell me, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't even really know that when you're a diabetic, taking care of your feet is very important. It's you know? extremely important, yes. And your blood sugars have been coming down. Mm -hmm. Do you know what your last day one C was? Yeah, I just taking it for lunch, and it was uh, one seventeen. But your A one C, that's the three month one. That's yeah. usually like a uh, five or been, six. No, it was good. My doctor, I have to have blood work. See, I go see her again Saturday. And uh, well, thank you for letting us do oh, the video again. You know, anytime. Thank you guys so much for all your prayers and caring. I'm coming. I've lost 59. Thank you.